What up, doe, homies and homies? It's your homeboy Grand Tizzle with the all the bass in his voice and all that good stuff. What up, doe, fam? It's your homeboy Grand Tizzle, and we are back for another tutorial. Now, this is a speed tutorial, and uh, we're gonna—I'm gonna walk you through this. Now, let me explain something to y'all real quick. If y'all, you know, tripping about man, why you keep doing these speed tutorials? Because my tutorials is very long. They—they they go from an hour to an hour and a half, and y'all just don't got the patience for that no more. However, if you do want to see a long, drawn-out tutorial, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. If, if don't nobody leave it in the comment section, I'm not doing no long, drawn-out tutorials. Instead, just pay for the course and go to class like a normal kid would go to school and learn. Other than that, I know YouTube is a place of entertainment, and that's the reason why I'm here partying with y'all and I, I mean, showing these speed tutorials, playing music in the background, because you know what I'm saying? We're here to party. We ain't really here to learn. Nobody's here to learn. Now, some of y'all is. Um, but anyway, we are going to, let me, I'm just going to walk y'all through this. This, uh, this tutorial in particular is an hour and a half. So I'm not going to upload it. Because if I upload an hour and a, hour and a half or an hour or so long tutorial, you're not going to watch it all the way through. And guess what happens? That hurts my channel. It hurts. The, the, the algorithm gets fussy. The algorithm say, hey, T, nobody watching your video for an hour. So we're not going to promote it. And it actually hurts my channel. So unless you know you're going to watch the video all the way through from A to Z, then leave in the comment section and I will upload that version. Other than that, I prefer that you just join the course and that way you don't have any other distractions. Because if you're on YouTube and you're trying to watch a tutorial and it's an hour long and uh, you, you see, you know, you're looking on the left, you're looking on the right, you see all these recommendations, you know, I get YouTube is tor terrible. I mean, actually, YouTube is brilliant, but it's terrible. Because they show you so many things that you're interested in that you really can't sit and focus on one thing. So if you're wondering, like, why you keep uploading these speed videos, that's why. That's why your attention span don't don't allow you to sit and really absorb um, the information that you need to absorb. So with that being said. Uh, if you're interested, the link is in the description. Go ahead and join the course. Watch it. Uh, actually, I think I got a special. I should have a special where it is one fee and you get everything. Get access to all my tutorials, all my uh, After Effects tutorials, my AI tutorials. My you get all my assets. You, you know the whole thing. And this is I'm not trying to sell you right now. I'm I'm explaining to you and talking to you. Instead of you having to listen to music in the background and watching videos. Oh, now I'm going to break it down too. what I'm doing, too. Um, but anyway, uh, forget, you know, forget the shameless promotion. Uh, if you want to join the course, the link is in the dis description. But let me explain to y'all what I'm doing here. What I'm doing right now is I'm creating a flyer in After Effects. So instead of creating it in Photoshop and then bringing it over to After Effects to animate it, I'm creating it in After Effects. And what I'm doing is I'm using video, right? I'm using video to make the flyer. You see what I'm saying? So I got a few static images like the girls here. They static images. But the water is green screen. The trees in the background is green screen. I was even going to move the sky in the background, but I decided to, um, you know, to do an animation overlay of the clouds and if you look at it uh that this actually looked pretty decent and what i'm trying to do and as you see i actually i should have rewinded it and paused it but um i just want you to try to this in my opinion is the easiest way to really get an extremely dynamic video flyer this ain't even a motion flyer. This is actually this surpasses motion flyer. This is like a video flyer. And this is just one of the little tips and secrets that what you can do to um, put together a flyer like this. Now, I'm going to come back and do a few more Canva uh, videos because I noticed that people like the Canva videos. The reason why I would have did this video here in Canva, guys, but um, but it don't. You know, you had to pay premium to get the background moved, removed. And there's a few things that I did 
And um, I don't, I don't want to. I already got alpha channels of videos, so I don't want to pay y'all to uh, remove the background that I already removed. So I'm just going to wait and decided to do it here. But anyway, look at this. Look how, look how dynamic it is to just bring video in here. Now, the background is done. This is done. All we got to do is word overlay right now. We got the water. We got the layers. And on top of it, this is not even 3D. The only thing, thing that's 3D is these speakers. The speakers was rendered separately. I actually um, created the speakers in um, Element 3D. And uh, I rendered it. I mean, I did a 3D rendering. And that's what you see here. It's 2D right now. But it was a 3D element. And I just moved the camera around it and uh, rendered it out. And now you're going to see a loop version of that. And um, that's pretty much how I put this together. I didn't really put any thought into the color, the color scheme, things like that. Because that, that, it makes a big difference. Um, on this one in particular, we just, you know, doing alpha splashes and green screen water and trees and things like that. I got the puppet. I'm using the puppet tool and After Effects so I can move the hips left and right. You know, just a little simple animation just so that they won't be static. But actually, some sometimes it's good for them to be static when everything else is moving because it gives a fun illusion to look at. But these is 100% dynamic flyers. So I'm moving kind of fast, as you see here. But of course, um, this video took um, took over an hour to do. Or this, should I say this flyer? Now, I don't necessarily take that long. It does take that long when I'm trying to walk you through it. If I'm walking you through it, it's just going to take longer. It's just no way around it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I do a video and I don't speak... It may be a little faster, but again, you will lose interest. You won't be engaged. So that's a catch 22 that I have here on YouTube. I got some comments saying you talk. I talk too much. I got some comments just abandoning the video altogether if I'm not talking. So it's a catch 22. I got to somehow try to find a balance. So the balance right now is to just talk to you while we looking at the process of me making this. Now, what you're looking at right now is, um, Animation, I mean, animator composer or animation composer. What's good about that is it uh, speeds up your animation tenfold. And it's free. It's called animation composer. And it's free. And um, if you want to get more animations, you, of course, you pay for an upgrade or something like that. But they give you a handful of, uh, for free. I encourage you to get that because... What that allows you to do is, let's say, for instance, um, you're going to see me um, pulling up this summer logo or the, you know, the summer here, right there, that right there. What that does is, um, I wonder if I could pause this because I'm talking over while it's recording. What it does is it allows you to animate. Let's say, for example, you wanted to animate that summer to come in. You want it to, to zoom in, but bounce and then slowly become static. Animation Composer does that for you. You don't have to uh, keyframe that. It's done for you. You see? Uh, and what's good about that is just like these speakers and just like how they pop in, in everything that pops in, animation com Animator Composer does, animation composer does that for you. So you don't have to worry about um, keyframing every single thing. So it saves a lot of time and it helps everything that you do. It keeps it dynamic. It keeps it busy. Animation Composer also will animate these text for me. That's why I could have did the text in Photoshop, but I decided to do it in here so that each text, each letter can be animated. So if I would have brought just the if I would have brought the image in from Photoshop and I you know if I did jam splash or pool party in Photoshop, then it's gonna come over here and act as an image. Which means I can still animate it, but it's not gonna animate each letter, it's gonna animate the entire image as if it was a whole image. There's ways to break it down, but we're gonna get into that later. But for now, just simply 
if I import it in from our Photoshop, then it's not going to animate each letter. But if I create the text inside of After Effects, then as you see in a few minutes, I'll be able to animate each text. So that's a good thing. Uh, it takes a little bit more time. It's just easier to do this type of stuff in uh, Photoshop. I get it. I understand it. However, if you're trying to animate it, it's best to do it over here because you have all your animation properties already optimized for After Effects. Now, it's not saying that we can't do this in Photoshop. We can't actually do this in Photoshop. But it's just a little, it's a, a learning curve. And it ain't as uh, intuitive. It's not as fast. So don't, you know what I'm saying, get straight to it. Don't get straight to the point. So that's the benefits of doing it here. Now, this is the first time I ever did a, 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 an entire flyer inside of After Effects. Uh, but I wanted to do it just to kind of um, show you, uh, you know, approach DJ Nutty Sacker. <laughs> I wanted to show you a different approach that you can use when you're creating uh, animated flyers. And this is really a cheat code. If you want to get some more tips and some more secrets, if you want to get the um, assets like the speakers and the trees and all of these different things, make sure y'all go, you know, follow the link. You know, it's my shameless promotion. But if you if you if you're able to support, you can support the channel by um, by, you know, getting your assets, um, upgrading to, you know, video tutorials and more premium tutorials. Um, but make sure if you if you don't take anything away from this tutorial, make sure you go download Animation Composer. Um, that's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of energy, and um, it's going to make your everything that you do very dynamic it, with 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 very little effort. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play. I know I'm talking right now, and I know the video is a speed painting. But this pretty much is over for now. But don't leave yet. Don't leave. Watch the video all the way through. If you made it this far, don't cut off because the algorithms is ignorant. So I know y'all don't care about the algorithms, but I do. I know we, uh, I, I hate keep keep talking like that, the algorithm. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and show the video. But again, if you want to see the entire thing, you want, if, if you, if, please, and if you do request it, please watch it all the way through. You know what I'm saying? Watch it all the way through, because if you don't, then that's going to hurt my channel. But again, if you want to get into some detailed video and you really want the long, I ain't going to say drawn out version. I'm going to say the educational course version of these videos. Then make sure y'all come over and join me uh, in the link below in the link in the des description. All right. I'm about to sign out. Thank you for watching. Deuces, baby.